um, the dating trends, relationship trends that we're going to likely, we're going to be seeing in 2024 is going to emphasize more on the self. I mean, okay. when has it not been on the self? No, I no, think no, the no, last no. trends were also very self Okay, 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 okay. Look, look. Dating trends. Okay, in 2024, according to Bumble, people mm-hmm. are going to be prioritizing self-reflection and personal consideration in their relationships more than ever. Mm. Okay? You see Singles, what I'm doing? Okay. I'm I know. stopping my eyes from rolling. Okay. <laughs> Singles are going to reject the need for perfection. Ooh. They are discarding outdated timelines and changing what they want. Mm. So it's going to be about what they want as opposed to what they think other people want and they need to change for that. So oh. that's, that, okay. that's, mm. fine. that's mm-hmm. basically mm-hmm. the buzzword. Mm. No, no, okay. that's fair. That's fair. I mean, mm. they need to know what they want. La. Yeah, so it's, you mm. know, prioritizing emotional vulnerability, mm. self-acceptance, mm-hmm. things like that. Mm. So looking out for yourself more. Mm-hmm. Rather than trying to conform to, you know, your significant other's needs and desires and, mm-hmm. and not sort of, you know, accepting yourself as you are. But I'm quite sure with that comes a lot of new terminologies, right? Oh, and no doubt. Things. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Now let's let's Dive unpack those things <laughs> because I can't wait to find out what exactly when you talk about self, like what, what, what are the new sort of a relationship faces okay new words, about? New, words. Yeah. new words okay i'll give you one okay generational blend romance does that make any I'm sense sorry, uh, wait wait wait, wait. again again generational okay okay so so it comes from the word generation right okay. so what, i know what, what it is okay what do you what do you think it is Al? they want to date a grandfather <laughs> or a grandmother. <laughs> they are into uh, older no, people. No, 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 they no. like this. No, is well no, no, done, no, no, no. senior citizens. No, no, Now's no, your no, chance no, no, to no, find no, a younger okay. chick. Okay, how about right, let, let's rewind. Uh, let's rewind. What's the term again? Okay, generational blend romance. So ah. you've got the word generation and you've got the word blend, right? Ooh, okay. I know, figure. I know dating a guy that's more than 10 years my uh, junior. Okay. It's about being open to connections with others who may be older or younger than you. Okay? Okay. So apparently, age is no longer going to be the defining factor Mm -hmm. when you choose a partner. Okay? Because 59% of women that Mm -hmm. Bumble surveyed Uh actually said that they are open to dating someone younger than them. Okay, okay. In the UK, it's 61%. Next one is uh, betterment burnout. Oh my God. Okay, this this one apparently. It's bougie word to come up with. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, these surveys. I think it's a chat GPT word. Okay, (laughs) no, it's not. Okay, singles are rebelling against the constant self-improvement and they just want to be happy with what they are and dating people who are happy with what they are. So basically, mm. they don't want to date people who want to change them. Mm-hmm. So again, it goes back to that point that the buzzword is going to be self. Mm. It's about acceptance, right? Mm. Okay, this it's sorry. Yes, very interesting. This, this, very interesting. this I can accept. Mm. This one, I think it's not a new thing. Mm. But it's just about just wanting to accept yourself the way you are mm. and finding people who are... Equally in the same space. Mm. Like, you don't want to get into a relationship where the person is trying to turn you into something that you're not. Mm. You know, or or you get into something where you want the guy, you want to, you want to change the guy and turn him into something that he's not. Mm. You know well, you know, I'm but saying? some mm. of us actually mm. do do that because we want, you know, we want that perfect I am a, version. I am, I am one of them. Yeah, because, oh, yeah. For, because everybody <laughs> has an idea of what they want from a partner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes without realizing it, you are actually projecting mm. your needs or your desires, expectations, mm. and you, without realizing it, are indirectly trying to mold a person mm. into something that's going to please you. Mm. So mm. what this is saying essentially is wanting to be with a partner who's going to accept them as they are, mm. you know, mm. warts and all, mm. okay, and both respecting each other's maybe character traits which are not always so um, tasty. I Can I say something yes. about this? Yes, of course. I, I think changing a person is not something that you should do. Lah. I definitely agree on that part. But I also think that the person should be growing yeah. You know, in whatever that they are, right? So if they're like, you know, I mean, if, if they are very, 
I don't know, maybe if they are a very emotional person, then probably it's le- about learning how to control emotions, right? Mm. So, like, somewhat, like, refining who you are, mm. I can accept that. Yeah. But probably changing the person from, yeah. you know, being an emotional person to not being an emotional yeah. person, then I would disagree. La. But when you say, like, accepting you as who you are, just like that and stagnant, I'm Cannot. kind of, like, disagreeing yeah. that. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that's you a know? bit selfish too, right? Because yeah. you, when you come together, it's like two people with different characteristics, different yeah. traits, different uh, whatever. And then you expect to just be as you are mm. without accommodating the other so person's it's needs. For a good example, right? It's like mm. buying an iPhone with no updates. Yeah, no, you get it? Yeah. Is, yeah, that's the thing right. The is, I would say that in this in this case, it's yes, you accept the person, but, but you grow together yeah. without... Yeah. Yeah. without Placing expectations on the other person uh, to become something that they are not. not. Yeah. So I mm. think the key here is not about not growing. Mm. It's about growing at your own pace, at your own respective mm. pace, and growing together. And be okay with that. And be okay mm. with that and accepting their flaws. Because if you are going to change somebody because you're not happy with them, mm. then you should be dating somebody else, else who has that qualities. Mm. Yeah. That's Why right. are you changing this person to become something that they are not? Yeah. Mm. Because you it's know? interesting you should say that because Very obviously obviously when you first meet and you're attracted to the person you're attracted to the person as they are correct mm. all right mm. so why is it that when you start a relationship you suddenly decide oh um he's not quite right i need to change him this way i need to like make him a bit more like me i need to do this you know like some tinkering mm. Mm. but when you think about it it's like what did you fall in love with in the first place exactly right mm. like say suddenly you discover that you're extremely religious now you want to change that person to be the same way mm. but that person doesn't feel the way that you do mm. so why are you forcing somebody to become something they're not rather than accepting them mm. and you know maybe by your example they will say mm, maybe that's a good idea maybe you know i can aspire that yeah. is a that's yeah. actually a very strong yeah. I like that, and but uh, you know, Ellen is I right. I also believe that it's 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 <sighs> it's a so very wise. it's a very. D- I also think that it is a very difficult thing to do. It is difficult because I'm sure you've been in that situation as yes. as to I have yeah. as yeah. well, right? Yeah. So how have you handled it? Have you like thrown in the towel because that person is what not throw in the towel? Meaning give give up on Dumb it, the gave up the oh. relationship because you know why? Because it can get really really. <laughs> Challenging and frustrating. frustrating. It's Correct. a lot more frustrating than Correct. ever, right? Correct. So but what I did think you do? It's it's compromise, right? Compromise. But 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 compromise is like oh my god, how do I say this? It's like, for example, let's say probably we have a certain expectation in terms of like timeline probably you know like when you need to be changing and things like that. But the thing is, we we often forget that everyone has their own pace. Yeah. Right, That's and true. and and some people learn in a different way, right? And I think it's about accepting. It's accepting and I compromising. I think that's why I said this. This one is it's it's very okay. good. It's quite a it's, timeless it's, thing it's, because yep. accepting a person. Because you know what? When I'm happy with myself, mm. then I have, I am keen on doing things or growing yeah that's right but when I'm not happy and yeah. you, I'm being forced to, yeah. to mm. do something yeah. then mm. I would rankle against it and yeah. be like why do I need to do this because mm. the reason why this is interesting also is because I have friends who have given up on their relationship because they feel that they are not with the person who they want to be with by virtue of the fact that that person is not changing as fast as they want that person to change. Mm. So, and that I mean you know it, people always say well in incompatibility Right, so is there a timeline to being compatible? That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't right? think there's a timeline to it. There, yeah. there should not be, actually. Right. If you think about it, there should not be a timeline, right? Because, again, people should be given a space for them to grow how they want to grow. Lah, I guess it know? also depends on how much you really want to be in that but relationship. But it's so right? frustrating! It is. <laughs> frustrating. Is it not frustrating? It is. It you is. know, it's like... It is. Especially if you <laughs> are very different from your partner. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah, and you yeah. are trying to get this moving and your partner maybe happens to be a slow, you know, slow mover. Yeah, yeah, And you're just yeah. like trying to whip him into action yeah. and he's not coming along fast enough. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, so in the end, it's like, do I give up on this or do I persevere because I see the rainbow at the end of the mm. whatever the... Audio Plus.